Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, man. Whatever time you guys are watching this, Marquee Walker, man, from Boston. We're going to Boston. We're going to Harlem, New York. We're visiting Jim Jones. Jim Jones, the rapper. Not the crazy dude. Not the other one, the El Capo. You already see it on the you already see it on the time. You already see it on the description. Classics. This album's a classic. Produced by the Heat Makers. Fully produced by the Heat Makers. Come on, man. This joint is crazy. Come on, May. 31st, 2019. It's like 58 minutes, 22 seconds. Now, listen, this could have been longer because you just, Jim Jones just put out the deluxe version, which was like 15 more tracks or something like that. I think it was like 15 more songs. And uh, there was heat on there too. This this album could have been like a double album. Like, you know, it's, I don't know. You know uh, but he already got the music out now, so. And go check it out. Go check out the um the duplex joint. You know what I'm saying? And I was thinking, should I just put them all together? I said, nah, I'm not gonna review the, the du you know. I said, you know what? Nah. But yo, Jim Jones, El Capo, we in Harlem, New York. Let's talk about it, man. Someone number one, Crystal Occasions. Everything's heat maker, so I'm not even gonna, yo. This matter of fact, heat makers. You're my master, heat makers. And on this album, you're my masters, man. Whatever you want, man. Um, let's give me I'm giving you your flowers. He makes this incredible, incredible, incredible work on this album. Um, let's just get into it, right? So number one, Crystal uh, Occasions. Uh, Jones says, hmm, about the rap. Oh, you're about to stop me. I was telling that, I was telling this bitch that I got lots of habits. Like hopping on jets, jumping off yachts a habit. <laughs> Yo. Just, like, is it me or... I don't know. Y'all say in the comments. Did Jim Jones step up his lyricism, his, his bars? Like, for me, he did. I'm just gonna... Listen. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean... For me, he stepped up his bars. And actually, like, if you look up the history, he wasn't... Even, he, did, he wasn't even like a rapper. He just, like... Created that lane. He made himself a rapper. How you make yourself a rapper when you wasn't a rapper when you was down with the crew, a group or something like that? It was something like that. But he was a hustler. You know what I'm saying? So he hustled in, his rap, in the rap game. So I got to give him his props. So we got to give him his props for this album. Um, yo, Jim adds some uh, classic paid in full at the end. They got the um, the Dame Dash joint. Shout out to Dame Dash in the movie Paid in Full. You know, that's a classic. So you threw some of that in there at the end. Classic movie. Everybody's stealing from that. Like everybody's stealing, used to steal from Scarface. Now everybody steals from Dame Dash on uh, Paid and Full. Um, what's some movies that, what's, your be, what's, the, what's the best quotable you guys ever heard on a record, on a hip hop record, any record? What's the best quotable? Like it gotta be from a movie though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, all the movies, whatever. All the gangster movies, whatever. It could be any movie. And how like the, the um, producer or how the artist you know, intrigued it with that, that that particular song. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up in the comments. Number two, Love of the Hustler featuring Trav. They got a video to this, so go check. Actually, you know, they got a video to like mostly every song on this album. So there's a video on this one. Go check out the video. Video's wild. They rob like someone and, and get away with it or something. Like they go in this house with this chick. Like she's taking a shower and she's thick as hell. You know what I'm saying? And Jim and some dude going there. They going for the money. They know where the money's at to get the money. The dude get distracted by the chick in the shower. He's just telling Jim to come chip, look. Jim's like, oh, nigga, come on, man. See, they jack. You know what I'm saying? But then, at the end of that video, well, like, like in that video, Jim, you touch the glass and drunk from it and put it down. What if the cops, you know what I'm saying, got your prints, dog? You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about, oh, look at that. Yeah, I know the video was fake. I'm just like, yo, Jim, touch the glass. But um, on the video, you got to see the video. Check it out. Um, Trav got uh, this chorus on lock, man. Good combo, good combination. That's what I want to like actually write. Um, is it me or Miss? Yeah, like I, yo, I said the same thing. Yeah, cause I just freestyled that and I said the same thing in my notes. Is it me or Mister Jones? Bar stepped up from two point five to five or three point five or maybe or a four in some time. Like, cause he he used to bear with me as an MC. I'm like, yo. Who is this dude? Like, why is he rapping? I used to say that when he first started. I'm like, who is this dude? Like, you know what I'm saying? I thought it was like one of their cousins he owed, they owed a favor to or something. I ain't gonna lie, no disrespect, John. I was like, yo, who's this dude? But every year you step up your balls. But this and this right here, like I said, is a classic album. 
your bars are there. Your bars are there. Like, like they like four, sometimes five. They in tracks. You know what I'm saying? You in the, you in the bag on this one. And then uh, number three, make no issues of it. Uh, they got a video to this joint. Jim goes on, and I don't rap for your co your convenience. I pop more inside the store right in back of the. Oh, convenience. My handwriting's so messed up. That's why I can't rap because my goddamn handwriting. He goes, and I don't, and I don't rap for your convenience. I, I pop, I pop more inside the store right in back of the convenience. That's what I was. Uh, he just used the way he used convenience and convenience, convenience store, convenience. That's all I was trying to like emphasize. But I'm like, yo, my handwriting. If you want to see my, yo, you gotta see this handwriting. Though. I don't know if y'all can see that. Dog. My handwriting crazy. I can't. I be writing all fast. Um. Yeah, number four, New York City, NYC, featuring Fat Joe. Yo, they got a video to this too. This joint was, cr this joint, fire. It's just like off the Richter scale. And he, it's an anthem. It's a New York City anthem. You, you make a song, it's an anthem for your city. Yo, Bean Town, come on, step up. Bean Town needs some more anthems, you know what I'm saying? Wise Guys, what's good? Everybody know Wise Guys, let's go. Taj, what's good? We need that Boston anthem. Taj Malik, what's up? I mean that Boston anthem. Um, who else out there? Um, oh, I just do an interview on. Oh, not an interview. Who oh, I just did a review on. I did um. Oh man, I'm blanking out on for the chick. I just did. Um, but any, let me. I'll get back to it. I know. I'm a, I'm gonna think of it in a minute. Um, but yeah, New York City featuring Fat Joe. Samples of New York City by the Chain Smokers. I said there. Yo, a title, yo, I put title erase this song. Does anybody know why? Like, I remember it being gone from title. Like, I would, because I was listening to this album like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Last year and, to, and this year. So I'm still listening to it. That's why I said I'm doing this classic interview. I mean, this classic um, review. Right? I'm going crazy. They took it off maybe like a couple of weeks. I was into it. And then, like, it just got grayed out. And I'm like, yo, then, like, I think another one got grayed out. I forget which one it was. I'm like, yo, what's up with the title? Grain out songs. I'm like, maybe he didn't get clearance, so it's probably, you know, I'm thinking it's like they fighting over the um, you know, the rights, the copyrights, all that stuff. So I'm like, oh, so like maybe you took it out because of that. But if it's something else, man, y'all hit me up because it's back now. Now that you put out the deluxe album, it's back on the original album, and it's back on the um, and it's on the deluxe album too. So I'm like, what? Um, but yeah, Fat Joe goes. Since 14, I was waving that thing. At niggas doorbells, you called, I let it ring. Yo, Fat Joe the Gangsta. Yo, Fat. Fat Joe, Fat Joe was doing this, dog. Back in the day, dog. Fat Joe. You know what I'm saying? Stick up, stick up. Fat Joe, yo, Fat Joe. Fat Joe the Gangsta, dog. Respect, man. Yo. And I love your transition, man. I love everybody's transition. Noriega's, LL's. Um. Everybody that's transitioned, you know, Ice Cube, everybody that transitioned from that hardcore gangster street life, eating grain, grains of rice to like being millionaires, but still like not, not knowing, not forgetting where you came from and giving back to the community and fighting for like good causes. These guys are, these guys are great, man. Shout out to all them. Oh, shout out to all the rappers doing that, man. Ghostface, all that, man. All them people, man. Willie Willie Smith. Um, all that, all them. Uh, number five, Good Die Young featuring Mark. Is it Scalabia? 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 Y'all gonna kill me. Is it Scalabia? I know this name. I heard it before. Like, people say it. <laughs> Mark Scal Scalabia, I think, right? There's a video to this, too. So go check it out. Um, Jones says, Savage nigga, and I swing iron like Cannon. Oh, no, I'm sorry, like Conan. Damn. Savage nigga, I swing iron like Conan. Have a bunch of ghost face killers sh shoot at your whole clan. Yo, tough. That's what I told you, Jones. Jones Bar stepping up, stepping up. Number six, number six. Um. Oh yeah, and he's like, "There's a ghost in my head." Yo, that that oh, the ghost in my head song. This is like ghost in my head song. Number six. Um, State of the Union featuring um. Oh, I'm messing my name again. That Mark Scabilia. I, I think it's Billy I don't, and Rick Ross, right? So, you know, mess, I'm sorry, messing with your name, kid. But samples, um, Cock Byro by Black Savage. Savage, Savage. Cock Byro by Black Savage. 
So that's basically Ozzy Osbourne's band. He started off with a band before, now he's Ozzy Osbourne. Go check out my review on Ozzy Osbourne. I reviewed Ozzy, yo. Um, this track is fire. Um, man, this is this track's fire on fire. I put like it's just like you know what I mean. Like the fire is just too big. You can't put it out. This track is one of them tracks. That's, it's like an anthem too. You know what I mean? This is this is dope joint. Got Ross on it. Come on, man. Um, the mu the music video is like a uh, continuation of, of the of the other videos. Like I think that's what he was doing, uh, trying to do like a movie. Turn the album to a movie. That's what you if you look at all the videos, put all the videos together. I don't know which one was shot first. I can't, you know, you got to kind of watch them and put them in order. I guess we, the way you put them out, hopefully they didn't order that way. But, um, it was like a movie. It's like a movie. Shit, it's dope. Yo, who remember when, um, was it Cisco? <laughs> when Cisco tried to do that album, dog. Like, he did the album. He did it. it was a dragon or something. Or some shit. And, uh, shout out to Cisco, dog. And he tried to do a, a video to every song. And then he went, like, then he passed the budget, and the, his record label was like, nigga. <laughs> like, yo, get out of here, though. You ain't that big, dude. I don't know. You just, I know, like, he didn't do all of them. So we, he was, like, waiting for more videos, right, from Neo. I'm like, come on, man. Uh, number six, we did that one. Yeah, that's my joint. Seven, Pity in the Summer, featuring Cameron, Fred the Godson, Mark Scalabria, and Rain... Nine ten, yo, another joint that's fire. He makers are in, you know, like they they in the top ten producers. They gotta be, they gotta be from last year and this year. He makers put, you know, they got that heat up. They doing their thing, man. No, you know, I keep forgetting the heat makers. You know what I'm saying? Um, what I put? Oh, did I do Fred's verse on this one? What I do? This is um, yeah, R.P. Fred the Godson for real, man. R.P. Fred the Godson, give him a little time. Yeah, Fred the Godson, man, he, um, he goes, Ice in my crucifix, fat man fly, cause of the white, my crossfire, like the clan outside. God. Yo. R.P. Fred the Godson, yo. Fred the Godson is crazy, man. Can you imagine if, like, Big L and Fred the Godson did an album? And they just kept doing albums together. It was a group. And then all the hot producers just did, did, did you know what I'm saying? Did the next album. It'd be like, Premier did the album. Pete Rock do that album. He make us do that album. And they just keep doing, oh my, 38 Special do that album. Yo, what? Like, you know, hold on. I gotta, now I'm going crazy. That's my dream, but I know it's not gonna happen. They both passed away. Um, but I'm just saying, I'm just, you can still dream, dog. You know they bring back the goddamn. Visuals, what, what, what Snoop did, the Snoop, what the Snoop did with uh, um, Tupac, the, um, dude, whatever the thing on stage, I can't even think of it, the visual, he had like the, you know what I mean, I'm like, yo, dog, he got this dude on stage, and it looked like him too, like, you know, the hologram, that's what it was, the hologram of Tupac, Shoot, this is get a hologram, Big L and goddamn, you know, all the bigs come back, man, on the stage or something, you know what I'm saying, do a concert or something, that'd be dope, um, I'm just running my mouth. But uh, number seven, Pity in the Summer, featuring Cameron, Fred the Godson, Mark, Skelly and 910. Dope song, dope track. Um, man, I just wrote again, Boston needs more anthems. I, I already said this, man. I freeze, I, like, I think I memorized this, and then, then I read it just in case. I'm telling you, Boston, get some anthems out there. Number eight, My Era, featuring Drama, B2R, and Mano. There's a music video on this one. Um, Mano, I think I did that quote for Mano on this joint. Oh, yeah, go check out um, Yellow Tape with Uncle Murder and uh, Mano. That's a good that's a good joint. I think, I think it's a mixtape, but it's a good, it's, it's just, you know what I'm saying, it's fire. Um, so Mano goes, keep it on me like a, a, a glue. No, wait, this is Mano's verse? I don't want to say it's the wrong verse. I think I, this is Mano's verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, keep it on me like... I glued my I glued my palm to the metal. You can't call God when you fuck with the wrong devil. Yeah, okay. You know I can't rap anyway. I gotta pay me to start rapping then. But um I like that bar. That was dope. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to um shout out to Mano, man. And shout out to um Uncle Murder, man. You gotta you gotta yo go check out I'm telling you. Go check out um his album. We got another one coming out too. 
I think he just you just on Instagram. Tell me we got another joint coming on. So check out for Uncle Murder's joint. And check out for Uncle Murder's wrap up. You know that's gonna be crazy though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, number nine, nothing lies. Featuring Fabulous and Mark Skillabella. Skillabella. Nah, I ain't know y'all. Listen, I'm chopping up your name, man. Um, come on, Fab and Fab's on this beat is ridiculous too. This sounds like another anthem. Yo, this beat's ridiculous. Like, I'm telling you, he niggas just was like. Here you go, Jim Jones. All the best beats we have. And then gave everybody else scraps. That like, yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know. But yeah, man, these beats were just fire, 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 right after the other. Uh, this is like a, a you know, the movie continues in this video. So you gotta check out which one's which and whatever. But it's dope though. It's like, you know what I mean? Some gangster shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, Fab, ooh, you know how to steal that fab, but you know, yo. Y'all know how I feel about fab, dog. I fight over fab, dog. I'm saying we fight, fight the comments, dog. We're fabulous, dog. Um, <clears throat> Forever flow can't kill me. They tried it. I came with the fire. Never Billy or jarred it. They steal and drip. Hear my story be weak. Yo, I swear I hate you niggas. Little, no, I help you. I hate you niggas little more than to reap. Yeah, yo, I, dog, you know I can't rap. I'm, I'm chopping, I'm sorry for that. I'm chopping up your balls, though, but I, that's what I do. That's what make it funny, man. It's live, be bugging out. Know what I mean? But, yo, that verse is crazy. He's talking about, like, the first verse, talking about, you said Fire and Billy and Jotted. He's talking about the Fire Festival and the Ja Rule. I would never Billy and Jotted. Like, I didn't get it at first. I had to, like, really look up the lyrics. I said, Billy and Jotted. I said, Bit Fire. I'm like, you gotta break down Fowler's balls. Gotta break down Fowler's balls. I don't know why people. Put some respect on Fab's name, dog. Stop playing, dog. Um, killed it, man. Then he talking about, um, I swear I hate you little niggas more than I hate Tariq, dog. Like, what? Hear my story? Like, I don't know. Yo, y'all gotta get it, man. Yo, you gotta break down this dude's balls, Fab. Yo, dog. I know how I feel about Fab. Don't talk bad about Fab. You pray in the comments, dog. All right, number 10. Cocaine Dream featuring, um... Ball Grizzy and Dave East. I just quoted on uh, Jones on this one. I mean, pardon me, but I'm out. Rich nigga habits. I love them foreign cars, pretty bitches, and automatics. That just says it all, man. He makes his uh, visually, visually graphic. Like these beats are like visually graphic. Like you can see the beat. Just put the beat on and be like, oh, I see this. I see stars. I see sunshine. Like you see shit when you listen to these beats, man. Um, yeah, yeah, Jules, Jules, not Jules, Lord, I'm thinking about Jules Santana now. Shout out to Jules Santana getting up. Um, but yeah, Jones, man, Jones is on some shit on this album. All right, number 11, Mama, I Made It, featuring Cameron. Ooh, this just feel like a reunion, nice cut, you know what I'm saying? Good to hear, you know, part of the dip set back together. Hopefully, y'all can get back together. Dip set, dip set, dip set. Um... Joint sounds like some heavy, um, what I put, heavy, what I put, heavy scent record. Oh, heavy scent record? I ain't put scent record. Heavy scent record. Yo, my, I told you my, my handwriting's crazy. Um, Cameron just sounds like all the elements of hip hop. Like, what's your favorite, oh, Cam Project. Okay, I know what I was leading to, but I know it's all of them. But yeah, basically, like, I wanted to ask y'all, what's your favorite um, Cam project? I got a favorite Cam verse, I got a favorite Cam uh, mixtape or Cam album or whatever. Put it in the comments, you know what I'm saying? My notes, man. I gotta get my, I gotta get like a, duh. I gotta start typing it. Typing the notes, that's what it is. Um, number 12, To Whom It May Concern, featuring Benny the Butcher, Cameron, Conway the Machine, and Gordon Banks. Lord have mercy. Full of gems on this. This album's crazy. I mean, this song right here is just crazy. Um, Jim Bum, yo, this is my thing. At the end of Jim Jones' his, uh, verse, he mumbles. Like, he really mumbles. Like, if you even look up the lyrics, it's like, it would did, it would that would did, it would But, like, fucking Fat Albert or some shit. Like, it's like, and it's on there. And it still sounded dope off that beat. Like, I was like, what'd he say? I thought he started speaking another language at first. I'm like, what are you? I'm rewind that shit. I'm like, I thought my something was wrong with my um phone at first. I'm like, what's up with the fucking title? I thought title was messed up. So doing that. 
But now nah, it was that dude's verse, man. But he still makes it sound dope. Yo, Conway, I put took Conway's verse on this one, man. He go, um, gave the ratchet to my lookers. We robbing drug dealers, waving sticks, empty clips. We bring that Malik to the pushers. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing, yo. Yo, Conway, man. Out, yo. Conway, Conway, Conway been outshining Benny. And shout out to Benny. You know what I'm saying? Benny's doing his thing too. But Conway been outversing him, I think, man. This year. I think he's been out, at least out quoting him. Maybe not, you know what I mean? Because Benny got, Benny's dope. But it's like, Conway got the, the stick out lines. You know what I'm saying? Like, they stick out and they, they, they're they quotable. They're more quotable this year, I think, than Benny's. What y'all think? Who got the better... Like rhymes, albums between Conway and um Benny. I mean, it's all fun. They all love each other. They cousins and stuff. They cool. Um, but yeah, man, shit. And shout out to Benny, man, for getting shot, man, and surviving, man. It's Benny. They try to get you, huh? Damn, son. Yo, that's bullshit. I, you know, I don't hate black on black violence. I, you know, I don't support it, but man, man, them dudes. I don't know, man. Get better, Benny. I saw you with Rick Ross in the fold, so I seem like y'all working on some stuff. What y'all working on over there? What y'all working on, Benny? What's going on? Um, number 13, sports cars featuring currency. Another dope joint. This got that church feel, too. Um, Jim trying to get into heaven on this joint. Like, <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> you hear this song, you can be like, what the hell? You gonna be, you gonna be stop. You guys think you passing the tie. You gonna reach your wallet, throw some money in. You know what I'm saying? You listen to this song. Um, and who don't like Currency, man? Come on. Currency's a dope artist. Go listen to Currency's new joint. I think he got a new joint with Harry Fraud, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go check out. Because I have to There's too much music that came out this week. Oh, my God. Friday after Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving night. It was crazy. Then Black Friday, all that shit going up. Man, it's crazy. Um, Y'all still do Black Friday? Who does Black Friday? Who shops? Y'all shop online or y'all shop still in the stores? Which one y'all do? You know what I'm saying? That, you can throw that in the comments too. That's another good question. Um, yo. I put, oh yeah. The beat is the best feature though. I, you know, like on this one, I thought the beat outshined the rappers, but these beats outshine, almost outshining everybody on here. The beats are dope, man. You can just listen to these instrumentals. You know what I'm saying? Um, Yo, I just need heat makers to do my soundtrack. Like when I walk in the door, when I walk around, they just a heat maker song come on. You know what I'm saying? I just be, you know what I'm saying? I just need some heat makers in the background when I'm doing something funky. You know what I'm saying? Walking into, with a room with a fur coat on or something. Heat makers come on or something. Um, number fourteen, song boxing. Short track. Uh, we really in church on this song. You know what I'm saying? This like he's yo Jim Jones. This whole album is kind of churchy. If you like listen to it, got a little bit of church here. It's like religious kind of stuff in there, man. Listen to it. It's religious. It's like a religious album. You know, it's on the low. I said, I see what you're doing, Jim Jones. You're, just, you're teaching us, you know what I'm saying? Teaching us how to go to church. You, you're teaching us the right way, brother. He's like the hip-hop Jesus, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's trying to give us some dings, man. Give us some dings. Give us some, some, some gems, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jim Jones being a hip-hop a Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Um, but Jones says... um. So when I throw up a gang sign, 200 G's in my flick, I've been ready to die like B.I.G. was in this bitch. Yo, I love that line. So it's funny, it's a churchy song, but like, it's opposite. Yin and yang, like he's cursing, talking shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what he's doing. Number 15, uh, Break Right, featuring Trav. Uh, what I put on this one? Great. Ooh. Oh, great Dinah Ross sample. There's a Dinah Ross sample in this one. Shout out to Dinah Ross. Still looking beautiful. Shout out to Tracy Ellis Ross. But still looking beautiful. I love Tracy Ellis Ross. Her photo shoots are so dope. She's just so dope. She's just a dope model, you know? I keep forgetting she's a model. I, I, mean, I think she just be taking pictures to take pictures. She's a model. I forget, you know, she's gorgeous. Uh, Jones says on this one, on number 15, bro, right? I had to get the paper up to put the crime down. Cause you so you so called gangsters is dropping a dime now. Yeah, that's dope. It's like Phil Collins. You feel it in the air. 
Yo, everybody samples Phil Collins, dog. In the air tonight. Is it in the air tonight? Yeah, the song in the air tonight by Phil Collins, right? Yeah, yeah, in the air tonight. Um, yo, that song is dope. Just the, everything, the bangles, the drums, whatever, everything, the whole thing, the way he, you know, they don't even drop, they don't even drop the real beat until like half the song is done. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Uh, the way they orchestrated that song. Still like one of the best songs ever. Go check that out. Kitties, if you never don't know who Phil Collins is. Uh, Phil Collins, In the Air Tonight. I used to think it was In the Air, air Tonight or something. But it's In the Air Tonight. That's the name of the song. Um, 16. Don't Know What They Took Him For. Featuring Jada Kiss and Filthy Rich. Another dope song. Another dope song. Like, it just, come on, man. Just another dope song. Jada. They wait for you to die. They label you a legend. I'm debating on a new... Look at this. My handwriting, 18 or that X7. What the hell? Did I say 18? Oh, Lord, my handwriting is crazy. Sorry, Jada. <laughs> Figure either one of you be a good look. Count my blessings. Get my lessons out of the good book. So, yo, like, I'm telling you, like, Jada knew this is like a gospel album, gospel record, man. Like, he, so he bring them bars and talking about the good book. You know what I'm saying? And he's talking to the kids. He's, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's teaching the kids. Yo, I'll be chopping. I got to start typing this stuff down. I'll be chopping up balls, yo. But, yo, go check out the Deluxe CD. Um, It was dope. It was dope. We got 15 more tracks. They're all in the beginning, too. Um, so, please, like, subscribe. Click that notification bell. You never know when I'm going to go live. I might go live now. You know what I'm saying? And, um... So, yo, I'll be coming up with some crazy show. I got two podcasts that be going crazy. You be bugging out on the shows. You know what I'm saying? I got the Pastor Podcast. And then we got the um, the Hip Hop kind of sewers Podcast. <sighs> fire. Both fire, man. And then I'll be doing these reviews. So, yo, like I said, the Deluxe CD from um, Jim Jones came out. Go check that out. The joints I like was... Um, I forget the, you know, I'm just going to do the name. It was Chasing That Feeling featuring um, Big old Marks. Skabilia. This was the same time. I'm pretty sure they probably did 100 tracks. You know what I'm saying? 30, 60 tracks. And then these might be the leftovers. You know what I'm saying? But I like this one. Then um, Father Forgive um, Us featuring Mayno. That was fire. Check that one out. Um, Pardon My Thoughts featuring Dave East. I like that joint. Um, then I took Conway's verse. I like Conway's verse on Try Again. That was dope. Shout out to Conway on that. I'm telling you, Conway, Conway got these verses that they quotable, man. And you just find yourself singing them. Um, then I like Bad Boys with a Z featuring Axel Lion. Leon, I'm sorry. Dang. Axel Leon, Nino Brown, and Fred the Godson. R.I.P. Fred the Godson. Stop playing. R.I.P. Fred the Godson. Um, but yeah, Bad Boys featuring uh, Axel Leon, Nino, um, Nino Man, Fred the Godson. This was fire. Another fire drum. I'm like, yo, why didn't make the album? All the ones I said it was fire, you should have made the album. Then Finito featuring Fred the Godson. Another fire track. God damn. Damn, I miss Fred, dog. Fred, come back to watch Fred. Why you have to take Fred? Could have took anybody else, though. You could have took. You know who you could have took. Four or five. That's all. One, two, three, four, five. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know Chuck D know, dog. Chuck D know, dog. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, man. This is Marky, man. Please like, subscribe. Um, You know, comment on the video. Give me some ideas, whatever. Tell me what you're thinking out there. Um, This is, if you think this is a classic, nah, I'll give it five. Mike's like the source. I ain't gonna lie. So I'm giving it five. And uh, appreciate you, Jim Jones. I appreciate you, uh, Heat Makers. Give me your flowers now, man, yo. Y'all did y'all put together a great album. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming back, coming back from Harlem. Coming back from to the bean to Boston. I'm in Boston. Support if you can. This look y'all I wore the Miami colors for this dude. You know what I'm saying? This is Miami, dog. Welcome to Miami. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I have to brighten it up for y'all. Monkey nuts, man. That's my logo. You know what I'm saying? I got other logos. My daughter's clothing line. Check it out in the description, man. Support if you can, man. Merch, man. Come on, man. That's all I eat, man. God damn. All right, man. Harlem. 
the Bean Town, Boston. Bean Town?